Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jelen from Mr. Excel. I'll be joined by Mike Govern from Excel is fun. This is episode 91, Rank Ties by Weight. Oh, Mike, I've got a heck of one for you. I already know you're going to win this one because I don't know how to actually solve it. Um, so we have some scores here. When there's a tie, we want to award the highest rank to the entrant with the largest weight. Oh, no. So let's just talk about rank first. Uh, we want to rank this item within this list of items. Press F4 and copy down. Typically, what they do is for all of the tied items, so this 7, this 7, this 7, and this 7, they all get a 2. And the usual solution is to take that formula and say plus count if, count how many things above me are the exact same score. Above me in this case is C dollar sign 4 to C4 equal to C5, copy that down, and what we should see here is this 2 is still ranked as 2, but ah, this 2 is now ranked as 3, this 2 is ranked as 4, this 2 is ranked as 5. So, one solution that we could do is uh, sort this descending by weight, uh, and that will make sure that the person with the highest weight gets the lowest rank. Um, okay. I was trying to figure out if there's some way that we could have an adder that would say, hey, rank this item, this 207, within kind of an array that says, if these scores, F4, is equal to the current score, then I want the weight, otherwise I want 0 see if that would work, Control shift enter and it's just coming up as a value. I can't seem to coerce that into a proper array out there. So, I'm just going to punt. I'm going to send it over to Mike and see what, how, if he has a solution uh, for this without sort. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Hey, oh, but well, wait a second. You cannot give me the point. This is beautiful. You did the rank and we had two, 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 two for these sevens and then you added this little count if bit and it gave us the right rank, two, three, four, five. That's all given that this column is sorted, but that is a beautiful solution. Now, yeah, if the column is not sorted, you're not allowed to sort, which would be the easy solution, then you have to do something a little bit more complicated. Now, I'm interested in this part right here. I actually want to copy this part of the formula. Come over here, type in equal sign and control V, and I just want to see what this gives us. Control C, Control V, Control V. What? It gives us a zero. Well, what's happening here is that's an expandable range. As I copy it down, it expands. So right now it's saying how many of these are in that range? One, two, three. And guess what? That's the perfect amount. Here's what rank gives us. Two plus zero is two. Two plus one is three. Two plus two is four, etc. So if there was a way to simulate what Count if is doing here with an expandable range on a non-sorted column, then uh, we, we, we could have a formula. So let's go look over here. So here's our normal rank, right? And I put just a reminder, right? So here's the non-sorted. So boop, boop, these ones. What I need here is to add a 0 to 2, a 2 to 2, a 1 to 2, and a 3 to 2. Now, there's two conditions here. If we're going to have a formula here, First is I need to ask, if I'm in a cell right here, I need to look over at the 7 and say, how many other items in this column are equal to 7, right? So I need to, in essence, isolate. Before I jump over and ask a question of this column, I need to isolate and say, give me all the 7s. In essence, they'll say that it'll be an array of trues and falses. We'll eventually see a 1 every time we see a 7. And then I, once I do that, I've isolated this number, this number, this number. I can simply ask the question, for any particular position, is this number less than the other numbers associated with 7? Let's just think about this. If I'm right here, if I ask, is this uh, 207, is it less than 207? False. 190? False. 205? False. 188? False. That will give us our 0. When we're right here, I'm going to ask the question, is 205 less than this? The 205 itself, the 207, and the 190, they'll only be 1. 205 is only less than this one number. That will give us our 1. All right, I'm going to build the formula right here. 
Now, the first array I need to isolate, so I'm going to say, is this particular relative cell reference, which has a 7 in, even in it, is that equal to any of the other items in this column, F4? Now, that's going to give me trues and falses. It better give me 4, F9. It gives me 4 trues, which represent the 7s, Control-Z. I need to convert those to 1s and zeros, so I'm going to use double negative. Double negative, there's lots of ways to convert trues and falses to ones and zeros, but that's a fast calculating way. Be sure to put parentheses, because you want to force the equal comparative operator to uh, operate before or evaluate before the double negative. That's our first array. F9, you can see 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 for where the sevens are. That isolates before we get to the second column. So we're only looking at then the uh, weights associated with seven. Then comma, the second array, double negative, open parentheses. And now I'm going to ask the question, is 205 less than any of the other items, F4? Now right now, what's the answer? Is 205 less than this, 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 or this? There's only one. 205 is less than this. That'll give us the one in this cell to then add to the rank. All right, I'm going to close parentheses, and I'm going to copy and paste just so we can see these particular items. And there it is. Now we can copy it up and down. And because we have that relative cell reference, right? when it gets to another tie, that B, uh, uh, this C11 right here is really one, two, three cells to my left. It's isolated, and now it's looking just at the twos. And it gives me the proper, please add one for this tie. Now we come over here, and I'll, actually, I'll just copy this. And Mr. Excel used rank. That's the old function in 2010. Works perfectly fine in 2010. The new one is rank equivalent. So I'll just use that. I'm going to say, hey, please rank the scores, comma, within all of these, F4. Uh, biggest is best, so I put a 0 plus that extra little bit right there. Control Enter, double click and send it down. So for this better say 2, this better say 3, 5, and 4. All right, uh, throw it back to Mr. Excel. Hey, Mike, that's brilliant. Use some product to figure out all of the people who had the same score but a higher weight. And uh, just add that. Great, great approach. Couldn't figure that out for the, the uh, to save my life. All right. want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel. And Excel is fun.